welcome. This is the um, full moon reading for the Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion. The you guys are the water sign people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and surprise. Okay, you water sign people, let's see what is happening and what is transpiring with you guys. Okay, so as we look at your reading, this um this energy that is coming out is wonderful because what is transpiring is that for you water sign people this is going to be really a shift of energies okay so remember the sun sign people are the people who were born um five o'clock in the morning until um 6 p.m. so this is your energy vibration okay so you want to sign people are going to be dealing with the energy of Mars which is your energy vibration um, which is the energy of Mars is career and you're dealing with some Aquarians and Aries okay so the Aquarians and Aries are going to be coming up in your work so that is what you water sign um, people are dealing with um, these could be people who are coming up to help you along your way. The energy of the Cancers are here with the Geminis, Cancers and Geminis. So it's all about love in this period for a lot of you. What I love is for the Moon sign people, and please like and share these videos. Welcome if you're a newcomer. And um, please leave a message about these videos. This video is going to be um, 50 minutes long. Um, you can pick up 50 minutes on YouTube and the rest is going to be an on-demand it's just $1.99 you can use if you have a PayPal account you can use your telephone to order this reading okay so what is happening here is that Mercury and Mars is coming so there could be a career shift or some of you could be being very 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 um, getting these wonderful creative ideas because you guys are really the creative types Uranus is here so something is going to be um, taken out of your life and it's going to be affecting the energies of the Pisces the scorpions okay so the scorpions um, you can expect that something is going to be ripped away from you this could be someone who you think you're in love with this person was playing you so be aware of this because whatever is transpiring this person did not come in your life in a positive energy vibration they have pulled the wool over your eyes and this is what is transpiring now three and uh, three um um, energies of the planets are here and these are like the planets that you really M Mercury is not that bad but Uranus and Mars is really career shift and career change it could be good it could be positive for you guys so let's look and see please remember that um, whatever is transpiring in your life and whatever need to leave your life you need to understand that you need to let it go okay you need to let it go you can't hold on on things if people and situations needs to be released out of your life you just need to release them whatever is it happening it's all about love the Gemini's and the cancers are especially the cancers are in the center the cancers are going to be affected by career changes and some of you are going to be receiving the dream job that you were waiting for the, the scorpions especially the scorpions who were born the moon scorpions who was born between the eight hours of 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. what is going to be transpiring is that there's definitely something that is leaving your life so let's see what's happening with the energy of Mars coming up. Imperial, Imperial is here. The energy of Imperial, when it's here, what it is say, basically saying is that you need to, to um, you know, balance out your work and careers. Really balancing out your work and career. So this is going to be good. What's happening with the Aquarius that's coming in your life? They're going to be teaching you about perfectionists. Okay, they're going to be teaching you about perfectionist and this is going to be good so um, you Sun sign are going to be um, connecting with the Aquarians and they are going to be teaching you about perfectionist the Aries are here 
and with the Aries is destiny some of you are going to realize that these Aries are coming in your life and it has to do with destiny so um, whoever is coming in your life it could be that you cancers are connecting with the Aries and it's destined that you um, are connected whether it's in business but it's in work it could be a karmatic situation that you guys have been um, in um, a relationship um, that is coming in so be aware mercury is here and mercury is bringing in the mysticism of your life okay so mysticism so mercury is going to be helping you guys especially the creative people so this is really wonderful and this is good because um, um, mercury is the mystical energy is uh, working with Archangel Metatron and Saint Germain and they're awakening your gifts and this is going to be good Uranus what is Uranus doing for you guys Uranus is helping you um, to find your right soulmate or twin flame and this is going to be good this is going to be extremely wonderful it's going to be positive it's going to be good we're seeing positive energies that is coming in energy of the scorpion you scorpion whatever is transpiring in your world whatever you need to grow from the situation okay because you scorpions are going to be affected that a situation is leaving out you live in your life now it could be a, a, um, someone who pretend to be a soulmate um, that is leaving your life whatever it is acceptance is the name of the game so you cancers need to learn um, acceptance some of you cancers was in a relationship for a very long time and it was a very unhealthy relationship but um, even though you know that this relationship was very unhealthy you still had stayed in this relationship now it is as if the universe is saying listen um, you know this can't go any longer whatever the situation is whether it was a relationship whether it was just a friendship or whatever but some of you are, have to accept that this relationship was a doom you saw this relationship going down and you never do anything to get this relationship back on track this relationship could not have gone back on track because it was not meant to be okay so some of you um, cancers or connected with the Aries you're you're gonna see that this was destined to happen whatever that is going to be tra transpiring if this person is going to be leaving your life you're going to be seeing that this was destined to happen some of you this could be um, a love relationship because the soulmate is here and you're realizing that your marriage has been costing you your life and now I think you're going to decide because it's as if your angels and spirit guides comes in to say this is it no more you can't do this anymore whatever that was transpiring in this marriage or relationship your angels and guides are saying no no uh, you need to understand we have been giving you signs for all these years and you need to understand that this is not working out and uh, this was destined this was destined to be but now you have to accept that um, there is new growth and spiritual growth that is going to be coming in a lot of you seems to be connecting with a um, soulmate and uh, and, and twin flame this is really um, a period where you're going to accept whether or not you go or you stay okay whether or not you're going to be um, staying in these relationships okay let's see we have the NJ of Imperial and it has to do with the king of cups so some of you could be in a relationship with a Pis uh, you king of cups uh, Pisces cancer or scorpions because this is the, the water energy you guys are going to be realized especially with career that some changes is going to come and you have to learn to balance work and career perfectionists and the Aquarians what is this all about some of you could be meeting an Aquarian and they're going to be teaching you perfectionists and you're going to be realized this is the person that I've been waiting for so the soulmate is over here so some of you are going to be realizing oh my god this is a person I have been waiting for my entire life so that is going to be really a spiritual union that is going to be coming in for you scorpions so let's look at the Aries and destiny 
um, the six of wands okay so some good news is going to be coming in for some of you who are connected with the Aries you're going to realize that this is the person for you I was destined to be with this person okay so um, it's kind of weird but sometimes soulmates and twin flame come up in weird ways um, and this is a situation that some of you um, men 45 years and older is going to realize that you know whoever this cancer is I was destined to be with this person this person is really um, there for me or um, it, and it has to do with these Aries connecting there's going to be some good news that is coming now let's look at mercury and the mysticism mercury and the mysticism you young people between the age of 18 and 45 this is going to be affecting you so whatever is happening there's some mysticism that is around you you need to either release this okay that means um, negative energies could have been um, pushing you and you're going to be releasing this in um, this um, full moon okay let's look and see what is happening with Uranus and the twin flame or soulmate um, some of you could be connecting with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian okay so um, you guys could be connected with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this could be a soulmate that is coming in for you okay um, and this is what I'm saying sometimes twin flame and soulmate come in so many different ways and it's good when um, you ask for a soulmate reading is a totally different reading because you go back from past lifetimes to find out who is your soulmate and who uh, when they come in you can know when they're coming in so it's good to take a soulmate reading with me um, because that is really an in-depth reading you can look at my website and check it out because it's a very very in-depth reading now you scorpions have to, um, this is going to be a period of growth for you scorpion so whatever is happening let's see the scorpion and the growth has to do with money okay so um, you scorpions whatever the situation that is going on in your life whatever situation that is transpiring in the life of a of, of you um, guys and it doesn't have to be the scorpion you can also have scorpion Sun moon arise and energy into your energy vibration what is transpiring what is happening for you water sign people is that you're reconnecting with your twin flame and soulmate some of you are, are accepting whatever is coming at you in a relationships okay you're understanding that I've attracted this relationship and I have to deal with this relationship however way this relationship is whether it's work whether it's friendship whether it's your personal life your marriage or um, your relationships so your intimate relationships this is what is coming in you guys are really showing up um, in your own um, energy vibration reading I haven't seen the rest of um, the zodiac sign show up like you guys new love is coming in definitely some of you are going to be connecting with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and um, and Aquarius uh, yeah Gemini Aquarius of a Gemini some of you are going to be connecting because the energy of love is really um, this this month of February and it is February.